Well, joining us to help make sense of this is Ambrose Omodio, the CRO in First Data Consulting Limited. Good to have you with us. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. All right, let's look at what happened yesterday at the market. I mean, it's been bearish, and then we, we see it becoming, you know, bullish yesterday. What, what's responsible for that? Yeah, actually, I think for me, it's not yet to call it bullish. I would say market <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> just rebounded, and that okay. was need to confirm it because for me, you know, it has tested uh, a good uh, Fibonacci point of uh, 50%, which is good. But I want to confirm this morning, if market maintain that uptrend we saw yesterday, when I say yes, we are seeing um, a green light. But for yesterday, alone, it's not enough to say because if you look at the market, uh, you know, uh, breadth, you see having a negative uh, breadth as I yesterday, 22 against 14. For me, it tells you that the you know, interest in Dangote uh, cement yesterday that pushed the market up. And that means we need to see more stock you know, gaining today. At the same time, see more buying interest. Know in the in the buying uh, angle for the market for us to confirm that yes, it's a rebound. That's why I said when people are calling me yesterday, even this morning, I said no, we'll, don't just celebrate yet. Let's look at what the market will do today. Also, don't forget that we're coming also to the end of the quarter, and this is another quarter that you know when the dress will come from the fund managers. And I believe that uh, from next week, not this week, they start with that window dressing to end the month higher for them to also to end higher. Also, don't forget that any seasons around the corner, people also have to position in their portfolio which company. Which sector will maintain an uptrend? Where can I sell off now and position ahead of the number? These are what we are going to see between now and end of the month. For me, yesterday is not enough to say that you know the bull is back. Let's just see what would market to do today for us to confirm. So you don't think it will be sustained? That's the that's no, 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 sum no, of what you're no, saying. No, I that we just saw the life of uh, Dangote gaining almost uh, 6%. Let's see whether it will maintain it today. Or all that bigger stock, for it, I can see you know, the life of uh, Presco and uh, other you know, stock gaining this morning. If that was sustained at the end of the day, if I see such gain today and I see that we're seeing more gainers than losers, let the breath turn positive for us. The breath, yeah. right? Okay, yeah, so that, that's, very, very that's it for you. <laughs> well, let's look at the 180 point six one billion naira, you know, that was gained in market capitalization. What stocks are responsible for that? As I mentioned when I said, you you said know, Dangote, that Dangote, yes, we saw the life of, uh, you know, MRS Oye, which is uh, Miss Oye, it's among the stocks. We also like, we saw the life of life stocks and, uh, you know, Access Bank and the uh, you know, life of uh, NACO. These are the things that really impacted the market. But today, we are seeing that the food uh, sector is coming up. I saw the life of uh, Boa Food on the top of Gainers this morning. I can see also um, Presco. These are good things. But like I just said earlier, we are seeing that the market has formed kind of uh, a pullback. And the pullback, when you see market coming down, what we use what we call Fibonacci to know exactly where the market will touch and bounce back. And now that it's touching about 50% of the Fibonacci, it's a good sign to go back. But one thing is very important that it is the market forces today that we tell I mean, if this trend will be sustained, if it reverses at this point, good for the market. That shows that the market is really strong for me. Why because until, okay. until the market break down, you know, the 50,000 down to 49, that's should have said there's a big problem in the market. What we're seeing is correction. Market have rallied from as low as from 47 to almost 54. Coming down for me, I'm not afraid. People are not complaining. Okay. It's just because the benchmark for you is 50,000. Yeah, yeah. Once it closes down, they're going to say, yes, something is happening. But for now, market is staying order as far that those stocks that put the market up are high cap stocks and they are the one adjusted now. We expect that the, the, the medium cap stocks and the low cap stocks start coming up you now because most of the interest dividend that will come will come from the banking sector and few from the oil sector. We believe that this also will be a plus for the market going to the free. That's why I said every investor seen this pullback target those value stocks with a pullback and buy in. So for people to take position at a lower price because I said yesterday that what we call a Naira average. Mm -hmm. You know if you are seeing this Naira average that you are buying more stock with less money because price are good, it's better for you than waiting to buy you no know, up with a few you no know, stock. It's better okay. <laughs> for me. There is no cost for allowing the market. Rather, let your investment strategy and your goal guide you. Don't be greedy. Once you make profit, go to profit. Also, set up your stop loss is very very key. Don't be carried with market direction either up or now. Once you have your stop loss, what guide you when to cut your loss and when to also jump back to the market. All right, let's look at the gainers table. We saw livestock uh, gaining about ten percent to close at one naira thirty two kobo. We also saw MRS. I think you've talked about MRS, but of course uh, it gained about nine point eight percent to close at sixteen naira twenty five kobo. And down to the cement, which you already talked about, also gained eight point three percent to close at two hundred and seven. Naira. What's the sentiment behind this? Actually, like I said earlier, if you see the life of livestock, livestock is thought that almost around 280, pull back to around uh, 160, further to around 130. The banding now, is, I'm not surprised. 
Also, don't forget that this company is not agricultural sector where you're having positive sentiment for the industry. See what is happening in the life of Okomo, life of Presco. And only that you can see what you just read when you're introducing that. Oh, between August, July and August, full scarcity and all those stuff. You know, all this sector is where attention should be given to so that we spread that going to the future, which will see improve sentiment and also performance in them. And don't forget, if you look at our GDP, the agricultural sector, the oil, and the uh, especially agricultural and the telecom are the one that really impacted that GDP. Tell that there's something going for the agricultural sector. We expect that that's supposed to influence the uh, investors and sentiment for, for livestock. But for the life of um, of uh, Dangote cement, I saw the pullback was an opportunity because this is a company that I've done what we call buyback. Buy and buy back, you are casting your share. I think that your earnings is improving. That earnings will support the stock to go even below, um, above, sorry, above 100, uh, 300 naira. But pulling back to around the 247, people see that opportunity to buy. And that's why I see after that day that I pulled back, the next day it rebounded because people saw it as a good price to buy in because with the earnings we are seeing, the company that pay you 20 naira dividend for last year, especially that they pay you another 30 naira 25 in the new year. For me, if their earnings is being, you know, kind of uh, it's looking up because they are cutting up their share in issue it's a good plus for dangote and also don't forget that we're having a factorial gap in nigeria also a state gap in terms of you know housing that means there will be demand for this company's product and also even though there is hike in their price there will still be demand because it's not only for those right for individual government is constructing road we're doing rail, 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 uh, train line here this one for that the demand for that product that means stock like you know um wapco you know Bois cement and then uh, dangote Cement. For me, it's a stock that if you are in there, you don't need to panic because there's positive sentiment for them also as far as uh, this also per election year. Because the government will want to also complete most of their project, you know, yeah. so that they will to, use to, to kind of campaign. And so, so for that, this company will have activity that business will be there for them, especially life of Los Vega, Wapco, because, because this campaign will come from, from anywhere from now. And before you campaign, yeah, before you campaign, go and complete your role. So that I tell you, oh, I started this role, I complete, but if you want to campaign with that, you can you know. Well, it's even <laughs> in the news, they are making a compilation of what this government <laughs> has done already. You know, okay, you mentioned buyback the other time. Um, let's talk about buyback. What's the importance or the impact of buyback? You know, buyback is not only in this climate, if you look at mature market, it's a thing that big companies, you know, does once in a while, just to make sure that they reduce their share in issue to improve the, the valuation of their company. Once you buy back, you are reducing your share in issue. That means you know, the, your earnings will improve because you are cutting down the numbers of share in issue because you are buying back with your word. You take also show that a company is robust. They have strong earnings or strong reserve to do that because you don't have strong reserve, you can't buy back your word. That's just that. Dangote for me is a robust company. That's why today in the market, when you mention Dangote, it's kind of because this company is that they are competent, they are also efficient. Everything for me, like I was saying, when I started like pulling back, it's an opportunity for investors you not know, to live. Also, look at foreign investors, constitutional investors, they will play with stock stock like Dangote. Boasment and the and the WAPCO because they see that this sector there's also positive sentiment for that sector and also their earnings are looking up. Look at what they did in first quarter. Nine of them posted a positive number. If that trend is sustained in Q2, it's a plus for the for the sector. All right. On the flip side, let's take a look at uh, the decliners uh, table. We have Len Africa and Boa Foods declining. Both of them declining by 10% each, and then we have Japan go declining by 9.68%. Let's talk about this. Yeah, for me, for Len Africa, it's purely profit taking. This is stock that moved from as low as uh, 180 kubo to almost uh, you know, 270, pulling back to around 210. Now going back to 250 again, selling off to take 10% uh, profit for me is a good one. But we're still looking forward to see the company final dividend because March is their end of financial year and they are released on audited account for, for the month of, for that year, which shows that the company's performance was pretty good. That means from the performance we have seen, if a good dividend will come out, the price will rebound. That means this pullback will be an opportunity for those that are not in that stock to take position. Once they announce their dividend and it bounce back, you come out again with profits. All right, that's Len Africa. What about uh, the other two? No, for for Boa, for Boa, I mean, I would say Japan, people, yeah. uh, no, for Boa Food, I would say sell off because actually Boa Food, you know, is a new listed company. But the good thing that the dividend they paid for the first time about three naira for me is so encouraging. But I think that the price, people are saying that the price is high compared to three naira, almost 50, 54 naira before it put back compared to three naira dividend they paid. People are but for me, it's a good dividend. It's just market sentiment, I would say, and also profit taking. Nothing is wrong with that dividend payout. It don't market their perception as the company, but I believe that the stock was for a ban. This morning, as I said earlier, you can see that stock breaking up again this morning. Okay, Japan Gold? Japan Gold is just sentiment. <laughs> All right, let's look at the fact that, you know, irrespective of the market uh, differential being in favor of the decliners, I think you talked about the breadth, yeah. yet uh, market sentiment trended towards the bulls. We would like you to express it. Actually, if you look at the, 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 the buy position yesterday, I'll tell you, we have about uh, 82 buy position yesterday, just 18 sell as at the close of you no know, business yesterday. But this morning, let's see what is going to happen. But for me, 
tell that that good thing gaining and we've seen action in those in the banking stocks you know i can see that banking index was up by 0.38 percent yesterday we saw the oil set also up by 0. no six eight percent before we now saw that uh, the 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 uh, what that led the gain yesterday was that's of uh, sector was a uh, industrial gaining at 3.83 percent for me you know it does market sentiment but we're seeing that buy position is coming back against sell-off we saw the on monday seeing a uh, kind of a buy position of 82 percent as at yesterday you know let that trend continue today that would be a good one but like i said i want to see how the market will go this morning for conclude to see whether that trend of yesterday is sustained if it's sustained it's a good thing for the market all right can you show us what the market looks like yeah. so we can see actually yes you know this is the chart i was going to explain if you look at this line here this is called, called fibonacci line yeah the the blue dotted line with a percentage here you see market at the top here which is the the peak about uh, 54,012 uh, uh, point down now around the uh, it touched as low as uh, 50,532 before a banning yesterday you can see from here to here there's a line here this is the 50 percent i just mentioned when i was explaining once it tested it and going back it's a good thing for the market that market trying to rebound that's why i said today want to confirm if this is sustained good to that that's why i said as a trader or investor you must know how to use your word your fundamental and technical analysis well since the market is correcting you need to panic you saw where the market moved from all the way here to up coming down here for them not surprised it has not even come to half of what he has you no know, you no know, done before that means you need to just a such patient now that we are seeing a sign of reband the, the chart is telling us good one we saw it blue here you can see all are red but here we are seeing blue it's a sign of rebound let's see what the market will do today that was as i said earlier this morning market is opening we are seeing some big cap like uh, Presco, you no know, boa food, and all that getting this morning. For me, it's a good thing, but let's see at the end of the day. Especially, let's wait for the midday. From midday, we cannot conclude whether the market is going to close in green. But I said that this week earlier, you know, on Monday, that we expect a mistrend for this week. Let's see how it goes. Yesterday, we saw a uh, green position, the previous day, red. Let's see what it's going to be. That is that mistrend, I said, because investors will be taking where will I go, where will I sell off. This is what will happen between now. And end of the month. You know, I would have said you should guess, but there is no guess. No, 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 no. I'm not guessing. That's why I'm using, my, that's why I'm using no my chart here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm using my chart to see that. Yes, we have seen a rebound. Let's see that to be sustained. It's a good moment that we saw that rebound yesterday. I'm, I'm more important, you know, to see a sustainability here today. When it's mm -hmm. that up, it's a good thing for them. It says market is back for another trend. All right. I know you've said a lot of things to investors, but I would like you to, you know, in clear terms, very clear terms, uh, what are your words to investors today? No, for me, you know, I said, let, let's take advantage of the pullback. We saw the, uh, the last five days. We call it uh, the baggy hunters. You have seen it stock pulling back. They see stock that has good value coming down. It's an opportunity for you to buy into that stock, especially if you understand what they're, on, what they're into. Because understanding the business of a company is very important to guide you. So you know the season and the season out of season, where they'll be doing well or not. That is why you need to understand the business model of every company you are investing to know, oh, this period they will make money. This period because there's a call called cyclical in terms of uh, performance. There are companies that maintain you know, good performance in all their quarters. There are some that perform well in quarter two, quarter three. We understand that we're expecting quarter two results. Which of this company will sustain what they did in Q1? For me, investors should not be panicked. Let us take advantage of the pullback to buy into value stock. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ambassador Modi, CRO Invest Data Consulting Limited, for coming on the show. Thanks for having me.